Motor Week is made possible by Auto Value and Bumper to Bumper and TireRack.com. Reunions just aren't what they used to be. School reunions are pointless because we already know what everyone's been up to. And family reunions, well, they turned contentious ever since that one aunt learned how to share political memes. But there is one reunion still worth going to. Ren Sport Reunion is a world-renowned, must-attend celebration of all things Porsche. For those unfamiliar with Porsche vernacular and don't speak German, Rennsport translates to race sport, which is something Porsche has been very successful at. Better recognized in its abbreviated form, the RS designation has been used on Porsche's high-performance streetcars from the 1956 550 RS Spider to the 1972 Carrera RS 2.7 and continuing today with models like the 911 GT3 RS. 2023's Ren Sport Reunion 7 took place at WeatherTech Raceway Laguna Seca, but it all began at Lime Rock in 2001. This was conceived by a gentleman named Bob Carlson and another famous race car driver named Brian Redman. And it all started because of the love that they had for Porsche and Porsche racing. And they just wanted to create a small environment where their friends who had that same interest and love could come together and be able to actually showcase these wonderful vehicles on the track. But that small environment they envisioned quickly grew. In 2011, we probably had about 50,000. And then in 2018, it jumped to 81,000 and we are looking to break records this year as well. Rennsport Reunion 7 kicks off in the most German way possible with the ceremonial tapping of a beer keg. Before the suds can even settle, the place is packed. As tens of thousands of fans freely roam the paddock, it's important to keep your head on a swivel. Not only could you have to dodge a 917 making its way to the track, but you may bump into a legendary racing driver. My name is Hurley Haywood. I've been racing for Porsche for 50 years. I've won five Daytonas, three Le Mans, two Sebrings. So many of these cars I've had experience with and raced. So when you look over a 50 year time span, you're dealing with you know early 911s all the way to the latest prototypes. And it's really cool to be able to see all those cars together at the same time not only the cars, but also the drivers that drove them. But Hurley and the other drivers aren't just here to sign autographs and reminisce. They got me driving the cars. I've got my 917-10 here. We just went around with Wolfgang leading me right on his bumper. That was pretty cool. That's what makes Run Sport so special is that the fans can really interact and get very close to the drivers and cars. They can get there, they can touch you, they can talk to you, and it makes it very special. In typical Porsche fashion, Rennsport Reunion celebrates the past without getting stuck in it. So while fans flock to watch the brand's earliest <clears throat> performance vehicles, they stay to see the latest electrified prototypes. Electrification is something that's really unique. I pers personally drive a Taycan on the, on the road, and when you can adapt those te that technology to a race car, like in Penske's car, I mean, that's really cool. We try to have something for everyone. If you don't have an intimate knowledge of motorsports in general, we try to have a lot of different environments here. Even if you are someone who knows Porsche intimately, you will still always find small Easter eggs throughout Rennsport that'll keep you on your toes and keep you surprised. So if you like cars and happen to be free in September of 2028, think about making the trip to Rennsport Reunion 8.